Hi, I'm Harold Taylor. I like to talk to my kids about night noises. We talk about the kinds of animals that live in the area where we'll be camping. We talk about <laughs> bears, crickets, cicadas, and that way at night when we hear those sounds, it's not quite so scary. And when, then when we hear it, we can say, hmm, I wonder what made that noise. You're watching Traveling with Tots, where today's destination is the great outdoors. We've bonded while working on an arts and craft project, dined by a campfire, then... Three, two, one. Enjoy this mini outdoor concert. We will, we will start now. I wonder what you are. Would you know what to do if you got lost in the woods? Do you know which plants are poisonous out here or what animals are lurking in the woods? Safety is always a concern when it comes to camping, especially when children are involved. You got to stay next to your tree that you pick out. We went straight to a man who knows a lot about safety, park ranger Steve Smith. He says, number one, do your research. First thing I would do is ask the kids what they want to do. If they want to fish, find a lake or a park that has a lake where they can fish. If they want to hike, find good hiking trails. If they want to be, you know, learn about birds of prey or snakes, find one that has a good interpretive center and a good interpretation program. Uh, ask the kids what they want to do because they're going to enjoy it a lot more if they have some say so in it. You should also discuss safety with your children before you go. Once at the camping area, your kids are going to be excited and ready to explore. So lay out the ground rules ahead of time. The first thing is when safety goes with kids is to know where the kids are at all times. It's very, very easy for them to wander off of a trail, get lost very quickly. Um, especially if it's like now when leaves are falling, lots of distractions. Uh, the kids see lots of things right now that they don't see in the summertime with just a wall of green. They want to run off, they see a tree stump or they see some mushrooms or a neat plant squirrel, rabbit, anything, they're going to wander off in a hurry. Teach your children to stay near an adult at all times. Kids will wander off looking at wildlife or chasing a squirrel. They need to understand the importance of staying close to the campsite. It is very easy to get lost and not be able to find your way back. But if they do get lost, they should know how to hug a tree. If you get lost in the woods, this is what I want you to do, okay? If you're out hiking, say, and you get separated from your folks, I want you to find a big tree that you like. Let's walk over to it. Come on. So you pick out a big tree that you like that's close. As soon as you know you're lost, you find a big tree, and you sit down here by it. Come here, sit down. Sit down right by your tree. There you go. And you stay here. Now, can you holler, I'm here, as loud as you can? Yell. Come on. I'm here. Yell loud. I'm here. Good, you do it two or three times and you wait a few minutes and listen, see if anybody hollers Jackson, and then you holler. I'm here. Very good. The best way for first time hikers to enjoy the trails is to find an organized hike. Find a scheduled hike or even request one from a park ranger. Hikes is our big part of what we do. We have lots of organized hikes with our naturalist. Uh, it's great for kids because they get an educational experience as well as a recreational experience. So if you can, find a scheduled hike, go on it with them. But if you just want to go as a family group, get a map so you know where you're going um, and take, like I said, dress, dress appropriately. Research the area for wild animals and poisonous plants. Then show your kids pictures so they'll know what to avoid. Here's an example of what the poison ivy looks like compared to another vine that's not poisonous. This is honeysuckle with the leaves on it. And you can see that the Poison ivy is kind of hairy or fuzzy in appearance. If you're building a campfire, only do it in a designated area. Never leave a child in charge of the fire. If it is a dry, windy day, keep your fire small. And when you're finished, pour water on the fire, stir it with a stick, then pour on even more water. Once the fire is out, perhaps it's time to head to the tent and turn in for the evening. Make sure your kids know they should never leave the tent alone. Once everyone is asleep, you don't want a little one waking up and wandering off. They may need to go to the restroom and see the light to the bathhouse and think it's okay to make a quick run up there. They get up there and then when they come out of the bathhouse, everything looks different. They don't see a light of their campsite to lead them there. So that's when they wander off. Well, I know I went across the ravine, so they head off into the woods, cross the ravine, and then they're lost. Nobody knows they're lost until the next morning. And finally, be respectful of the area and try not to disturb the ecosystem. Each plant and animal serves a purpose, so observe and enjoy from a safe distance. Like the old saying goes, take only pictures, leave only footprints. 
check out how our viewers are making memories with their families and friends on camping trips. These kid-friendly campsite adventures include helping dad put up the tent, to snuggling with mom, making s'mores, showing off silly faces for the camera, and just relaxing with a little buddy. There's also boating, tubing, swimming, fishing, and other water activities. From state parks to beaches, families are having big fun with their little ones. We would love to hear from you. Check out our website at travelingwithtots.info or find us on Facebook at Traveling with Tots by Grumpy Pants Productions. Give us your suggestions, share your comments, and please post your travel photos. We hope you enjoyed this camping adventure. It goes to show you that children don't always have to be entertained with television or toys. Take a look at that. Let the great outdoors be their playground. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Traveling with Tots.